So we're going to design a reference blank test, which means we're going to pluck out one ion at a time to determine its role in producing this precipitate. Does it have a role? Or does it not have a role? If it does not have a role, we say it's a spectator. So you create the same mixture that you started with in the original reaction, but you omit a species from the reaction. You might say to me, how can I just omit mercury ion? I can't go to a shelf and find a mixture that just has a single ion. That is true. So we have to substitute a known species for whatever we're taking out. It would be no different in a piece of research if we were looking at the impact of a chemical on tumor growth. Okay, we're going, we're going to pick it apart and see what each participant is contributing to that result. So here you need to begin to know that family one metal ions, cations, all charged plus one, are highly soluble. It, ta it takes unusual conditions to get them to come out of solution. So if you remove a species, we're going to substitute something from family 1A if it's a cation. A really good substitute for anions is NO3 minus, so-called nitrate ions. The minus one com charge comes from the fact that oxygens are typically charged two minus, so we have an NO3 three oxygens, that's minus six. And nitrogen is a non-metal, but it's in the fifth family, and when you give it a positive charge, it's the same as the family number, plus five, that gives an overall charge of minus one. But it's very, very soluble is an important point here. So here we're going to take the reaction, and the reaction is stated at the top, and we're taking out the nitrate, uh, we're taking out the I minus and substituting nitrate. And let me go back, because that was pretty fast. Okay. Notice they're both clear colorless samples. Again, the original reaction listed at the top, potassium iodide. We're going to take out the iodide and put in the highly soluble nitrate. Okay? So the only thing missing is the I minus. We take the original samples with the I minus missing, put them together, we get no reaction. Now, all you have to indicate is that this tells us that the tested ion is a spectator or a reactant. You don't have to in lab write long thesis on it, okay? Because you're generally going to louse yourself up by saying some things you shouldn't have said. That happens on tests. 